Hi everyone, I'm Paul Kankowitz, and this is the weekly update for my 2D PvP game with grappling hooks. I had family in town this past week, so unfortunately I didn't have too much time to work on the game. This week should finally be getting back to normal after all the holidays though, so I'm ready to dive in and get a bunch of work done. I've been gearing up to do another playtest, so a lot of this update is in service to that goal. Let's dig in! The main thing I did this week was implement the logic for chest spawners, which are used to spawn chests that contain relics. Here's how I tackled the implementation. I started by creating an object for the spawn locations and placing them throughout the level. I then created a spawn manager object to control the spawning. When spawning, I grab all of the chest spawn locations, then remove any that already have a chest placed on them. I created a timer to only spawn a chest every x seconds, which is loosely based on the number of players that are playing, and is a random value between a range so players don't know exactly when a chest will spawn. I made open chests start to decay after x seconds, taking y seconds to fully decay, and eventually deleting themselves to make room for more chests. I skip spawning a chest if there are already some max number of closed chests currently spawned, or if we run out of available relics to spawn based on the number of closed chests. I then added some polish, like off-screen indicators, VFX when spawning to mask the sprite popping in, and temporarily invalidating spawn locations that are within a certain distance of any player. I'm pretty satisfied with the end result, though I definitely want to see it in practice via a playtest before calling it done. I improved relic stealing a bit by making players flash when hit by grapplers, and making grapplers not steal a relic if they hit flashing players. This fixes the issue I mentioned before, where players could have all their relics stolen in quick succession. I also noticed and fixed a bug where relics would be unable to be picked up if the grapplers collided while stealing relics. Whoops. Finally, I added some gummy animation on hit to give it a bit more feedback. I also allowed players to grapple floating relic pickups so you can steal the relic before another player even picks it up. Similarly to the relic stealing change, I made it so players jump off of flashing players even though they won't deal damage. I'm not sure if this is what I want in the end, but it seemed like a good change to help keep things feeling consistent. I also implemented several minor improvements this week. I added an option for the number of coins to win, which I've been meaning to do for months. While I was at it, I also added an option to adjust screen shake. I added a special off-screen indicator for diamonds, since players could already tell which one it was by it bouncing up and down. I also added subtle VFX when coins and diamonds spawn in. Alright, that's everything I did with the limited time that I had this week. I'm pushing hard to have a playtest build and link by next week, so keep an eye out for that in next week's video. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time!